National Hot Dog Day, National Sunglasses Day, National Witch Hazel Day. Why is that a thing? Where did this whole thing come from? Who picks these days? Explain it to me. Take it easy. I've got all the answers. Welcome to By The Way Today Is. Kate, you look like you're trying to figure out something. Well, to be fair, this is just my face. I'm just trying to figure out stuff all the time. Mm. But right now, right now, I'm trying to come up with a perfect French dessert. French dessert, you say? Yeah, French dessert. I'm hosting this really large dinner party Mm -hmm. and I have to impress everyone there. And you cannot impress anyone if you don't have French dessert. Oddly specific. Crazy. I, I've never I know heard what of my that. guests I know what my guests like. Well, then you're on the right track because today is National Parfait Day, November twenty fifth. Is that a French dessert? It is. Depending well, we'll talk about that in a second. Let me explain okay. parfaits to you. Yes, please do. Did you know there's two different kinds of parfaits? I know nothing about parfaits, so well, no. You're gonna love this episode then. There's a French version and an American version. Those are the most popular ones. Those are the ones you probably want to stick to. Unless you're in the UK and the, par- the UK version of the parfait is a meat paste usually made from chicken or duck liver and sweetened with liqueurs. I think you want to sw- stick to the traditional one. That sounds disgusting. I'm Don't horrified. knock it till you try it, but I'm going to agree with you. Ugh. I have no interest in trying it. So you make you eat parfait. I do. What's I'm your not favorite? a humongous fan, but I will eat What's it. What's your favorite I'm... ingredients on a parfait? What Obviously makes it a perfect one for you? Fruit? Mm-hmm. Granola? Eh. Can do nah. without. Sometimes not a big fan with the granola in there. I always throw my granola away. Yes, you do. I'll eat it because sometimes I just need the sustenance. Mm-hmm. Fruits for me. Fruit for me as well. So are you ready for the by the way fact? I'm ready. Full circle. You ready? Full circle. What does the word parfait in French mean? Parfait. (laughs) That's what it means. Wait, let me guess. It means creamy, gelatinous blob. No, nope, nope. You are not good at this guessing game still. The (laughs) word parfait in French means perfect. So this is apparently the perfect dessert. So you're right on track. somebody made it. And then when they had somebody try it, they're like, this is perfect. Let's call it a parfait. They're like, parfait it is. So that's where it got its name from. I like it. They got their start in France around 1890, and it was originally a frozen custard, and it was made by boiling eggs, sugar, and cream together. That's not too hard. No. The oldest recipe for anything that's close to a parfait was found in a cookbook that dated back to 1869, and it was originally a coffee-flavored parfait. I, I would like that. I like that coffee-flavored stuff. Yeah. So we might have to do that today to celebrate it. That's a good idea. Make a coffee parfait. But in the United States, traditional parfaits are made with a parfait, ice cream, or pudding, and they're layered on top of each other and then topped with whipped cream. That's a traditional parfait like if you were to get one at a restaurant for a dessert that's what they would give you but the northern united states they took the traditional parfait and they expanded on it and that's where the ideas for granola and fruits come from Mm. so they were added on afterwards and so because it was traditionally a dessert item once they added granola and fruits to the parfait it now became a breakfast item so you could have a parfait for breakfast and you could have a parfait for dessert after dinner my God, that could be a whole, a whole day. If they come up with a lunchtime parfait, you'd be set. Maybe that's what we need to do. There's another genius idea. Yeah. Lunchtime parfait. Wouldn't that kind of be like a quiche? Couldn't you say that? No. No? Okay. Nope. Lunchtime parfait, not a quiche. That's not <laughs> perfect. <laughs> okay. I beg to differ. So if you're going to make a parfait today because it is parfait day and you want to celebrate, don't just throw it in a bowl or a glass. Oh. Okay. There's a specific way you have to make them if you're going to go all out and do it the right way. You have to make sure it's in a wine glass, a very tall, thin glass, or even a mason canning jar. I really was just going to say, I was going to put all mine in wine glasses. I don't know what you put it in. Well, if you're going to celebrate it, put it in a wine glass. That's the proper way to make them. I like it. 
And I have a feeling we're going to be talking about mason jars in a couple of days. Why? So, well, there's National Mason Jar Day. What? That's a thing? I'm going to explain it to you. Take it easy. (laughs) That's coming from me who has many mason jars because I love them. You're going to love Mason Jar Day. Mason Jar Day. But back to Parfait Day. So if you're going to make one, make sure you put it in the proper type of a glass. That's the proper way to make it. Unless you're making a traditional French one, Mm -hmm. not like the United States version of it, then that needs to be served on a decorated fancy plate. Don't just put it on a paper plate and throw it out there to someone. You have to put it on a fancy decorated plate. I'm not going to put it on a paper plate. Just saying. What kind of dinner party do you think I throw? It wouldn't be perfect if it was only on a paper plate. No, it would not. So you can have a parfait party today. Make all sorts of different parfaits. Try a few different ones. Go for the UK version if you're really crazy. Invite a few people over. Have everyone bring a different one. And you're going to be having a perfect parfait party on parfait day. Is that what I should call my dinner party? Perfect par. Hard to say. Perfect parfait. I, I need another P word. We almost party? came up with a new tongue twister. Perfect parfait party. There it is. Yeah. So that's how you're going to celebrate National Parfait Day today. And come back tomorrow and we'll have a new day that will tell you how to celebrate. And in the meantime, before then, you can go to our website, by the way, todayis.com. You can listen to all of our older episodes. You can subscribe, rate us, and follow us there. And come back tomorrow and we'll have another episode and we'll talk to you then. Bye. Remember to subscribe, rate, and review our show. You can download new episodes daily to hear what day we are all celebrating and how we can celebrate it. And be sure to share your favorite episode with your favorite person so you guys can celebrate together.